Let's go! Hi everyone, I'm finally gonna kick off my healthy living video series and I'm gonna start it off by giving five quick tips on how you can improve or maintain a healthy lifestyle. So my first tip is going to be drink lots of water. I know you probably all have heard it many, many times before, but really it helps. So I take this 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, it's BPA free to work every day and Basically, I can drink two and a half of these in a day, but it's spread out. I don't drink it all in one sitting. You know, it's between breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and at the gym. Water is always my first choice of drink. I still drink soda and juice and milkshakes and smoothies every now and again, usually when I'm doing a cheat meal or something like that. But my first choice of drink is definitely water. I think that water is really great in flushing out your system, detoxing, and just maintaining regularity. My second tip is to read your food labels. So I'll tell you how I read my food labels. I grabbed a loaf of bread. This is the type of bread I would typically buy. This is a Milton's all natural healthy whole grain bread. And the first thing that I look at is not actually the fat content when I look at labels. I generally scan. I look for the calories, I look for the dietary fiber, and I look for the amount of protein. So four grams of dietary fiber in one slice of bread is actually really good because if you make a sandwich with two slices of bread, you're getting eight grams of dietary fiber. That's 32% of your daily value of fiber. The next thing that I look at to minimize is sodium. I don't really want too much sodium in my diet. Sometimes that's really hard to avoid, especially with processed foods, packaged foods, which is another reason why you should seriously think about fresh cooked vegetables, fruits, those types of things. Potatoes in their pure form, not from a box. And then the last thing that I would consider is the fat content. Uh, we still need to eat fat. There are many good fats out there. I don't avoid eating fat because you need it. Fat helps satiate hunger. So if you eat a really low fat diet, you might feel hungry all day long. So you want to eat something, especially for breakfast and lunch, that are going to keep you satisfied without giving you like an afternoon food coma crash. I still get those sometimes. I think if I eat too heavy of a meal or something with too much sugar, I will get a food coma crash where I'm just exhausted at work and really, really want to take a nap. Nobody's perfect. I'm not saying that I'm perfect by any means. I don't follow these guidelines 100%, but I do notice how I feel when I eat differently. So these are things that I strive to maintain as well. So. I'm going off on a tangent, but my second tip was to get enough dietary fiber in your daily intake to maintain and regulate your body. You will notice a huge difference if you get enough fiber from whatever it is, cereal, bread, vegetables, whatever, you will definitely notice a difference in the way you feel. The third tip is to spread out your meals. So if you spread out your meals, you'll never get too hungry and then you'll be less likely or you're setting yourself up to not overeat. I know for myself when I've been busy all day at work that, and I haven't had time to eat my meals that I'm absolutely starving at dinner time when I get home and I just peg out. So the best way to avoid doing something like that is to really spread out your meals. I'll let you know what I typically do. For breakfast, I will try to have something like a glass of carrot juice and a yogurt and maybe a piece of toast. Mid-morning, I will have a piece of fruit. For lunch, I'll have maybe a sandwich and a bag of chips. And then I'll get hungry again, so I'll usually grab some sort of either protein bar or channel mix bar, some type of bar to hold me over. Then when I get home, I'm still hungry, but it's not quite dinner time, and I need some energy for working out. I will eat another type of snack between 200 to 300 calories. And then when I get home, I will have a dinner, 
and my dinner varies a lot so I can't really say what my typical dinner would be. So in that scenario I'm never really letting myself get too hungry and this is good for our bodies because our bodies get used to continuously burning calories because it expects, okay, I'm gonna get food in, in whatever your intervals are. Whereas if you wait until you're absolutely starving and have too much to eat, it's harder for your body to break down the food. And also, have you ever noticed that sometimes you'll be starving and then you eat just a little and then you're full? It's because your metabolism is not on fire because you've been starving your body. Your body's sort of in preservation mode thinking that you're not going to give it any food. So that's my third tip. My fourth tip is to stay active. So I know that a lot of people are not like me who love going to the gym and working out. Well, I have to be honest that sometimes I don't like to exercise either. I have to keep myself motivated. And I keep myself motivated by doing and finding things that I enjoy doing. So you don't have to go to the gym, run or anything, but as long as you're doing something for at least half an hour a day where you're standing up, you're burning calories, if you're walking to class, you're shopping, you're gardening, something where you're not just sitting on your couch watching TV or just sitting at your desk working. Basically, it's just good to burn calories for at least half an hour a day, get your metabolism flowing, get your blood circulating, and it's really important to find something that you can sustain because you don't want to be doing something that's boring. I'll be honest, I cannot run on a treadmill because it's way too boring for me. It just can't keep my attention and the thought of running on a treadmill, for me personally, is just boring. For somebody else it might be awesome if they have the right music or whatever it may be. But for me, I need to go to classes, I need to have friends to work out with, I need teachers that motivate me by pushing me harder. So that's what I do to stay motivated and active. My fifth tip is everything in moderation. I felt like I deprived myself of a lot of things that I used to want to eat and I was an unhappy person because of that. And it isn't until now that I've sort of figured out a balance for myself that I realized that I need to allow myself to enjoy cookies and ice cream and really yummy food, fried food, when I feel like it. However, if I were to eat like that every day, I would not feel good. And I know this about myself because I've, you know, through the years I've gone through both sides and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. So come up with some sort of plan for yourself. For me, currently, I'm trying to eat really clean from Monday through Thursday. And on Friday through Sunday, I let myself enjoy a couple more treats. Whatever works for you, nobody is on the same plan, but if you have some sort of plan goal, it's fun to try to keep it. It's also helpful to keep yourself honest. So depending on the feedback I get with this video, I'll see what direction I want to take my healthy living video series. And yeah, please leave your feedback and let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.